Hit the button. Da, da, boo, ba, do, da, right, look yeah, at that. There's Mike's See up. That. And a new uh, venture into the after show show. Mike is, is hanging around, looks yeah. skulking around the room. Here he is, showing us his Santis. Yeah. Showing off, his, out showing, off his wa- showing off his waxwork. Get your Santi out for the lads. Right, it yeah, is yeah. Uh, PJ and Jim's after show. Show a uh, couple of things. One, it is the last one of 2019. Yeah. Uh, secondly, we're actually on a countdown because... We've because, 10 minutes memory left in this video situation. Yeah. So it makes it uh, even better still. Hold on, this, you're all crooked there. Now we're going to waste time. Now look at that. Look at, look at you playing with the machines. That's better, look. Yeah, we're using a different... Yeah. Uh, a different phone. Look, let, let's, let's be honest. We're using a phone, right? We're using the phone. I'd like yeah. to. I'd like to tell you it was a big, mad kind of professional setup where we had cameras and it everything. It fucking is a camera. <laughs> the phones are better now than the cameras were twenty years ago. And now it's Mike's phone because I forgot the attachment bit from mine. Yeah, so it's grand. So we've got ten and minutes. That's, so that's it. In fact, oh, nine minutes we've less, counting. Yeah, we've less than nine minutes. Right, be right. funny. Ah, happy Christmas, you shower up bastards. <laughs> I hope you're. Um, Ah, fuck it. I hope you're having a good one. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Depending, like, I see, depending on when you're listening to this. It's just a misery. I just, the, rep- the good thing is we're so close to it being over. We're so close to the repetitiveness. and the. But by the same the, time somebody sees this, it might be over. Man, I will say, I'm, I'm. yeah, it might be over. And then we'll be in that. And I hope you're ashamed of yourself. Like I am. I hope you're ashamed of yourself when it's over. Lying there with your britches that don't fit anymore. I had to let me belt out a notch last night and I'm fucking disgusted over it. I'm disgusted over it. It's not even Christmas Day. For a man who despises Christmas so much, yeah, you, you do tend to embrace it now when it comes I to certain aspects. It, you have to, like, it's one of those things you have to indulge to forget. It's like an addict. I can't face the reality of the horrors of Christmas. Therefore, I must stuff my face well, for no, the uh, no, momentary no, I mean, gl- glimpses of a better life. I mean, you know, like, I'm sure there are traditions around the world, right, that we acknowledge, like Chinese New Year and, yeah. and there's various things and other things. I know. Right. Oh, all I'm saying is, you don't suddenly, you don't suddenly d- d- you know, dive into their culture. No. So if you reject Christmas, how do you get away with stuff I in your face for it? I can't avoid it. It's when Chinese New Year comes around. We don't listen to Hong Kong fucking fooey every day for, <laughs> for a month, do we? When Christmas comes along, you have no avoidance. Every time you come in here, some fucker's going, driving no one for Christmas. Or, I'm just Ding saying, dong, you could. You could. Hosanna's and the Jesus. Ah, ah, ah. You're like, they can't get, you can't avoid it. It's literally every week you, could, you, reje- you could reject it. You could reject it. You could turn around it. and you could say, look, you know, I, I, don't, I don't buy into all this Christmas business. I so don't. I won't be eating all of that delicious food and party snacks. And I won't be indulging in fizzies until they spill out of my oh ears. Oh, my God. You, are you, you have to do these things to survive it, to get through it. No, that, it's not the celebration of it. It's the endurance of it is how you get through it. When, yeah. look at, when you see all the... That, do you know what you're like? You're like some lad who's sitting around and there's a load of guys planning a bank robbery and he goes, now, I don't agree uh, at all with criminal kind of carry-on or anything like that, but to try and take my mind off it, I'm going to rob the bank with you. You're, now, <laughs> do you know what you're like? Do you know what you're like? I tell you. If we're going to start playing the analogy game, you're like some, you're like a tosser. Like, so say we're all invited to a christening, right? And right. You know what I mean? You're all invited to a christening. And then you say, oh, yeah, do you ever go to mass? No. Uh, no, I don't. No, just going to the christening, whatever. All right, yeah. And I see you're, you're having a few drinks, are you? Yeah, right, yeah. You're like, so, so you know, you're now like the fella at the christening going, no, no. No, man. If you're, who are you even here, then? Who are you drinking if, you know I mean? if no one's making you drink? I'm drinking to survive this situation. Why are you pissed in that? Why are you? Why is the bloke pissed in that analogy? Because he's impersonating you. (laughs) (laughs) Because oh my god! Okay, I I didn't phrase it very well. See that? He had to get in about eight different insults into the one analogy. I didn't phrase it very well. What I'm trying to say is, you know the way. If you're in Ireland and you don't want to go out, right? You don't want to go out anywhere for any event. Yeah. And you have, you feel compelled or you feel responsibility that you have to be there. Yeah. Right. Even if you don't want to drink, you go and you drink. Why? To fucking survive it, to get through it, to get to the other end yeah. and say, come out. So there is now, a very I, unique. That's, what, that's why I'm doing the food and Christmas. It's it, just to survive. There start, is a very unique survive. Irishness. You, it, to be fair to you, there is a certain truth in what you're saying, right? Because there's the great Irishness <laughs> of. Um, rejecting something and embracing it all at the same time, right? Yeah, you're right. Like, for yeah, example, yeah. there's two things come to mind, right? Mike was telling us last week that he went to a particular place himself and his missus and his and his, one of his kids or two of his kids, whatever. And um, they went and they said, uh, "Can we get the breakfast?" Uh, and and they went, um, 
Yeah, no, it's yeah. after 12. It's I, after I can't, well, we don't do it after 11, was and, it? Yeah. Or something like that, yeah. yeah. So I said, well, right, okay, fair enough. That's It happens or whatever. And uh, um, he says, is there, like, could we, is there any of the other things we could get? And she said, oh, you could help, you can order them individually. Yeah. You what? Get, you get everything on so, the breakfast menu on your plate as a lunch. Yeah. Which you can't call at breakfast and no. you have to order them individually. Individually. So what you'd have to order was, I'll have the sausages... I'll have the rashes, I'll have the eggs, yeah. the pudding, I'll have the hash brown or a whatever. toast and tea. Right. So, um, so I'm basically having a breakfast. Oh, well, you're not, actually. No, you're no, not. No, bre- you're having breakfast lunch. Breakfast finished at 11. Right, okay. I'll j- oh, right, grand. Okay, right. I'll just have all those individually then. Thanks very well, much. Yeah, that's like, what's in a full <laughs> breakfast? Right, a sausage, right, yeah. Right. Whatever's in that individually <sighs> and call it a lunch. Okay. Yeah. But we Which don't is serve absolutely breakfast. absolutely bizarre. It's bizarre. And it's I know, I know a place that does breakfast until 12. Yeah. And after 12, they call it a mixed grill. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, magnificent. Because God you know forbid it be an all-day breakfast. And you know the other thing I heard? And this, this apparently is absolutely true. A mate of mine said that it was in a, he's an English lad. And one of the early times that he came over here, right? And the holy hour was still in existence. Oh, right? yeah. Remember and he was, that he was in a pub. Now, in fairness, it was outside of Dublin, right? It was it, um, rural, let's just say. And he said to your man about getting your man said, um, uh, I get... Uh, no, he says, what's the story about, um, uh, what time do you open at again? I know this. And he said to him, uh, what you call it, whatever it was at the time. He we says, yeah, well, it's, ha- it's two o'clock to half four or something like whatever that. Whatever it was, yeah. Is this on your man says? And he says, all oh, right, so what am I going to do now? And he goes, well, do you want to come in and wait until it opens? And yeah. then he says, yeah, I'll come in and yeah, I might as well. Yeah. I've nothing to do. <laughs> he says, do you want to point while you're waiting? <laughs> And he's like, exactly. what? He goes, do you want exactly. a point where you're waiting? He goes, I thought you can't serve. He goes, well, I can't charge you till four, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want a point? Uh, that's the, I see, that's, you're waiting for the that's bar to open. Irishness at its magnificent it is. best. It really is. That is the yeah. brilliance of it. It's like the rules it's are like the rules. It's like finding a loophole yeah. everywhere. Well, that's Ireland all over. Rules are rules, and they must be avoided, boy. Now, or, or broken, now, depending. We can, <laughs> now, can we all agree that the new rule is not to do this rule? That's mm. Ireland all over. It's brilliant. Oh, I love that, But though. that's what makes Ireland a great place as well. Because the breakfast thing has always been a bugbear of mine. Oh, I love a breakfast. I've never understood. As you know. I'm oh, very, I'm oh a, you know. Is anybody looking at me in here? Well, not, anyway. You want to see this all world going through packets of sausages, literally going through packets of sausages only 10 minutes ago. Exactly. And the idea that you have to stop it. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah, I know. I know. And that's why isn't there no three words better in the whole English language than all day breakfast? Yeah. All day breakfast. I swear, you know, Christmas is coming. The Christmas dinner and the whole lot. All I'd want is an all day breakfast in, in no talk you're at and put some roast potatoes on it. I think an all day breakfast is one of the true great delicacies. Oh, of. there's nothing better than an all day breakfast. I swear to God. Yeah. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> Dude, actually, if I opened up a selection realized, box and there's nothing in it for sausages, I'd be delighted. I just realised exactly another one of those uh, examples where I actually heard, and I was physically there having a breakfast myself, I heard a lad ordering a breakfast, and he just said to, the, to her, can I get chips with that, right? Yeah. And she went, no, right? And he went, okay, not to worry. And then she said, but you can order them separately. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, okay, yeah, well, then I'll have chips. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you want to, chips or do you want cubed? Do you want anything. cubed potatoes? Yeah, but isn't that what I fucking <laughs> asked for? So I can't have chips classified as part of my breakfast. Yeah, yeah. But I can have chips with my breakfast. Yeah. Do you know what breakfast is like in Ireland? It's like partition. It's like the difference between Northern Ireland <laughs> and the Republic. It's all the same, but yeah. for some reason there's a, wo- a border we dance around. Do you know yeah. that kind of way? Yeah. The brilliance of breakfast. Yeah. Ireland is the full Irish and. Um, the north is the chips. Yeah. You can have it together, but you have to distinguish the difference, and that's the way it is, yeah. Anyway, what do you, like, um, so that's the intro done. We've got less than a minute left if you want to say something. Oh, God, <laughs> we do, yeah. Right. Happy Christmas, everybody. Oh, we, I'm uh, trying to think what we started off with the intention of doing. Oh, who cares? Yeah. It? As, if, as, if, as if there was ever a plan to this, anyway. That's Happy true. Happy Christmas, everybody. Enjoy our day. Enjoy Dead Week. Have a poxy New Year. We all will. Let's be honest about it. Right, New fair Year's point. Eve. Fair Hopefully point. it all gets better from then. Uh, let's yeah. all aim Basically, for have our trousers fitting by April. <laughs> lower your expectations. Working. That's the secret to it. The sec- that's the secret, in fact, to a happy life. It as is. you always say, stop having ambition. Stop <laughs> looking forward to shit. And then everything's a surprise. If you think everyone's going to be terrible, and it never is, I'm telling you. So there's peace and tranquility in that. There you go. And on those beautiful words, uh, we wish you and yours a very magnificent yeah. something or other. And in the words of Jesus, get over yourself <laughs> and you'll have a good one. <laughs> and the Lord said, get over yourself. Good luck. <laughs>